All right, YouTube. Today we're going to play some Grixis Delver. I took this list um, from uh, from Moto. Uh, so we're just going to play it up here. I don't play a lot of Legacy, but I do enjoy it when I do. So let's try that out today. Competitive Legacy League. Let's see if we get tooled on. I don't. I think you need Battle Rage, to be honest. Yeah, like, you just need that oops, I win set up. All right, let's join the match. Oh, we won the die roll. I'll keep this hand. It's not great. We don't have a threat, but we have some interaction. We have a force. We can brainstorm on two. We can lead on our fetch line and not get wasted. Ancient Tomb. How do you wish someone good luck, have fun, and then Ancient Tomb them? I could just let this resolve and then abrade it, which I'm kind of into doing. I'm fairly certain whatever deck we're playing against is really going to struggle. Like if we're playing against an Eldrazi deck, they're probably going to struggle against True Day Nemesis. I might have played the wrong land, but I wanted to make it so I couldn't get wasted. Okay, so let's get uh, most of our deck is red. So let's get Valk. I'm assuming this doesn't play Badlands. Valk. Yeah, Valk. Get rid of this. Target you. And now we just we're just going to town. This is like a reality smasher. That would suck. Oh, to Mimic. All right, Mimic's okay. Okay, so we're currently losing this race. We might, we might not be anymore. All right. Fork Bolt's good. Gurmag Angler's better. Wow, that's a good set of cards. So I kind of want to go Delver. I'm going to put back these two. Well, I can't, I can't cast Gurmag Angler if I do that. I can go Fork Bolt Angler. Um, not really sure the best way to go about this. I would like to play two threats. But I can't play two threats and guarantee this to flip. I think I just put back... All my cards are really good. I'm going to put back this and this. Going to go here. 
in here. I'm gonna attack and then play Angler on the cheap. And then all of a sudden my opponent's in a lot of trouble. Four pull angler. The problem is I wanted to get it all, and now we have like a daze back up too. Like we couldn't we couldn't play every like we could have played all three threats, but then they have one more creature in play. And like reality smash is kind of a problem. I'm not gonna block this thing. Okay. My opponent can go like Matter Shaver plus Dismember. What do they flip? Cavern Souls, you got it. And I don't even really want to play the Delver. Because if we get always dusted, it's two, two, four, five, six. We can still daze and all of dust. All of dust if it's a land. But if it's a two mana land, we can't. So I think I'm just gonna hold it. Because we know it's not flipping. So we can still daze. Now we can still daze like an all is dust. And again, they would need to go land into. They have to go land into all his dust to get me. But then they go down to two. So I think, again, I'm just going to wait. Because they're dead if they tap that land. Okay. So against this deck, I probably want Edict. And a braid, that's kind of it. Um, I probably don't want my dazes on the draw. Well, fork bolt's also pretty bad. Maybe it's fork bolt and two dazes. Yeah, I'm gonna do fork bolt and two dazes for the abraid and the edicts. Just more removal. <clears throat> I'm going to look to bring my daisies back in on the play, but I don't know what I'm going to cut for them. This hand's pretty soft to wasteland, though we have a forest. We're probably going to pitch the... No, we don't have a forest. Think about Mulligan. Our hand's pretty soft. Though they're mana hungry as well. Yeah, I think we got a Mulligan. I don't know if it's right to do or not, but All right, we're going to keep this one. Probably should have boarded that out. Okay. I kind of want to waste this. I think I'm going to. I think it's not good to waste when you're behind on the board, but I really don't want to get thought not seared. Though, I might want to get to my young Pyromancer, so I'm not sure. I'd like to be able to find a force so that I can go, like, pre I can go preordain into a force, play Pyromancer on two, and then be able to force something. All right, we pitched the guide to play Matter Shaper. Okay. I'm going to keep my fetch land. 
because I'm going to preordain. I could just take both of these, but I can't take both of them. And so I think the... Honestly, I think the Pyromancer is probably better than... Because this means that if I get Thought Not Seared, I can at least do this. So I'm going to put on top, put on top. I'm probably going to play... No play from them is nice. I have to hope that they don't have the mana to Reality Smash Us next turn. Because Reality Smash is not going to be good. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, I, I left, like, Spell Pierce in Delray, which I probably shouldn't have. Warping Wheel. We're going to get Smashered. Which that kills us. During sideboard? Oh, okay. I might not have looked. So we're on the play, so I want I want this and I want my dazes. Cards that are probably not great are where's the spell pierces? I probably can cut one of these. Well that those these are all better on the play. This only kills EE, so I think I think we're gonna leave it out. I think on the play we have enough discard spell plus four dazes to be okay. No, we're gonna mulligan this. Uh, keep. I guess we put this on top. We're going to take it, but... Okay. So we're going to draw this daze. So let's go here, here, here. <clears throat> I kind of want to daze this. But I think we can wait. And I want that true name nemesis as well. Because they're probably going to like lose this land anyways this turn. And then we can daze that and lose their land. Then we can either untap, wasteland them, do something else. Or play true name, which either should be good. Pierce is better on the play. Oh yeah, the whole deck's better on the play, right? Okay. Well, how are you doing, Delray? Yeah, I don't really want to waste this. Again, I think we're just gonna let this go. And I'm pretty confident if I get to play True Name Nemesis this turn, that I'm gonna be in pretty good shape. Underground C. Target you. And then I can go like two Wastelands plus Edict if I want. So we're in a pretty good spot. I think that's worth dazing because it is going to eventually uh, get up to kill this Trudy Nemesis. Okay. Opponent's going to be able to pay for it. Doing well. Trying to see if I can come up with a modern chattel. So like for the SUG next weekend. If I'm not, probably just going to borrow KCI. Yep. 
It's a good deck. All right, let's start here. <coughs> that sucks. I'm gonna go like this. Thought sees them. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this um, this reality smasher. And then pass the turn. Because I kind of want the no, I probably should have gotten the rid of the matter reshaper to be honest, and because of that, I think I'm gonna waste them. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up because now they can go like land city of traders. You know, like it's just not as good. So I should have taken what I should have taken was I should have gotten rid of um, the matter reshaper and left them with the awkward hand there. So that, I punted there. That was not good to do. They drew a wasteland. Yeah, I messed up. One, two, three, four, five. And we can do the trick where we daze our own spell to avoid the wasteland. But I think that they, I don't think they're going to do that. We know our opponent's hand. <clears throat> We're going to bolt something here. And then we have a Diabolic Edict coming on top so we can start attacking. You played a lot with KCI Idel, right? You missed the shadow section of the stream. I finished two shadow leagues, and we've been live for just three hours. It's pretty quick. Okay, we're going to untap. So I'll start attacking with old nasty Germasty. I could whack this in their upkeep. But I think I'm just going to bolt. Bolt this. And then pass. And then look to Edict in their end step. How's it going, Tim? I almost played land, but we got we to gotta set up a Skype session, Tim, where we can play land together. Get this. Nope, never played in a tournament, but I played some practice matches and felt like I had it down enough to complete. It's much easier to play now that uh it's just easier to play now. So I think I think you can handle it. That's nice. 
Like now that Psy and the Spine of Ishalu are a part of the deck, like I think it's much easier to play than it was two or three months ago. I'm gonna get thought knots here. Okay, you got it. Now that we have this in play, I'm not really worried about a chalice. And I'm not gonna not gonna block this. I will daze this. Choose target spell. Return this. They have a thought not here in play. I'm free basically every day, so I have no plans next weekend. Yeah. There's a lot of good KCI content. How do I lose? I don't really know. I think we just attack here. And I play my... Because they're in the abyss. They have to block both of these next turn, which means I draw a card. Which means I'm going to draw a card anyways. And if I attack with the... And I can make it so they, they have to, like... They can go eat chump. I could just put them to one. I still have my angler in play versus this. Or I could just attack with this. Put them to one. They still draw we still draw a card. But if I, I'm just going to attack with this. I will trade it with the Thought Knots here. But I feel like as long as I have this Young Pyromancer in play, I'm going to win eventually. Even through this Chalice. Just take a slow and steady. All right. First match went well. I do like playing Legacy. I wish that it was... I wish I had the cards. I could probably get cards, but I would feel kind of bad taking that many cards from somebody. Why not attack with the Elemental? You're talking about the turn that I attacked with the Thought Nuts here? I guess it was stupid not to do that. Yeah, you're right. Because they either just like, they either take a free point of damage or they lose a creature to eat my elemental. No, you, you're right. You're right, sir. Or ma'am. Whoever is the Pix. The Pixis. Alright, I would like to play first. <coughs> I would like to keep. I'm going to wait on my preordain. I'm just going to play a Scalding Tarn and go. Because I really don't want to preordain with, like, when I don't know what I'm looking for. It makes my, if I have to daze something on turn one, it makes my brainstorm worse. But if they play a creature, I can just brainstorm it on turn two. Or I can bolt it on two. Now I gotta daze that. I'm gonna get a Valk. Oh no, are we taking out?
All right, we're back. Okay, so we want to go this into this. We're going to daze this. Play Delver, it's going to flip. OBS is reconnected. Oh, we're going to get wasted. Yes, we are. No. Oh, God. And then we're drawing a card that does not kill mom. This Gourmet Angler is not good here. Now we're going to preordain on our turn. Twitch chat. <clears throat> put on the bottom, we'll put this on top. We do need another land. It's all good. All right, it's just tweaking out on my end. Yo, I've had enough of this wasteland shit. I guess I play Gurmag Angler. It kind of gets shut down by mom a little bit but that might open up a window for us to bolt the mom but I just want to put the pressure on to the max here dude we get nasty here this channel there's some R-rated nastiness in this channel I'm just saying we don't have a snapcaster mage so it doesn't matter Yo, I've had enough of this port bullshit. Keep messing with my lands. Though old old nasty's gonna put some pressure on mom. Let me tell you what. I'm gonna plow my insectile aberration. Man, Moto keeps tweaking out. I'll probably have to restart Moto here in a second. Oh, Magic Online, how I love thee. My opponent is playing around days very well. Okay, that's dead. But I do get to crack them for lots of damages. Oh no, I, I messed up. I should have given... It's okay, if the mom blocks, gives it pro-black, then I'll just bolt it after combat.
Okay, now we bolt mom. Hopefully they don't have a backup mom. I hope my stream's working for everyone. It's it's like tweaking out on my end. It says I have good bit rates, but it's not going. It's 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 weird. Maybe it's Stoneforge Mystic. I'm actually just going to restart the stream. Hang on. All right, I'm just going to restart it. What is this? Is this just like a chump blocker? I don't think we're going to win. Unless they just get, unless they just block, which they're not going to. All right, I restarted it. Are we are we back and going here? Because I can't see it. Because if you look on like my dashboard, it shows like it's not working, which isn't usually how that works. I don't think I'm going to win this game. I have a bunch of spells that don't really do a lot. All right, thanks, Tim. Maybe I should have bolted, but I feel like I'm about to get uh, hit with a flicker wisp here. Oh, Mirror Crusader. That's bad. So I'm going to wasteland this port. The old Safi combo here. Because I can't let this thing get equipped and hit, but the nice part about what's going on is we, I think we play a better game on narrow margins, but with them having so much, like them having the free mana, it's going to get even, it's going to get a little harder. All right, hit another port. All right. All right, oh, it's coming in, sending a message. They're going to have to tap mana eventually, and I think we can punish them, because like, they can't really, like, they have to, I think they have to hold up Stoneforge Mystic. The problem is if this is a Flicker Wisp, then things get kind of tough for me. Which cards in my hand did something. Like a Brainstorm would be nice. All right, so here comes. Oh, didn't think about this. I just got, I just got destroyed. And now they're just gonna, yeah, I'm dead. I got wrecked right there. I thought this was a flicker wisp. 
I should have just done it in response. Because I thought I was about to get Flicker Whisked. So we want this. We want Dread of Night. Probably want everything that kills something. I don't really know if I want Snapcaster Mage if they're attacking my mana. Probably can cut my forces. Probably can cut an angler, because it seems to get brick walled pretty easy. Um, I think days on the play is still good, and we probably can cut spell pierce. Alright, let's try this. I got worked right there though. And my opponent knew that I was playing around Flickerwitz too, which made the Sanctum Prelate so good. <clears throat> okay. Nope, we're going to mulligan this. And we can keep this hand. So my bottom. I might want lands at some point, but I don't think I want lands that early. All of these cards are very good. Okay. It's a little harder for me to stream Legacy because I'm not as comfortable with the format. There's more going on, which makes it a bit difficult. I kind of just want to abrade this. I think I'm going to. Before they, they can do any shenanigans with this thing. You'd be more comfortable if I was playing Legacy Shadow. Maybe! Oh, port me. Don't do that. Alright, Mom, sweet. I think I'm going to kill Mom. As much as I would like to... Yeah, that's a nice draw. Let me go Brainstorm. Because if I find another land, I can go, oh, I did the wrong land. No, I can go, like, bolt this, waste this, play True Name Nemesis. I did see that. I am not sure how much I am a fan of it, though. So I think I'm just going to put these two back. Bolt Mom. And Wasteland the Port. I don't really want the Delver. They wasteland me, it's a little awkward. I do not like I do I am not an easy charm person. Right, I think we're gonna take this opportunity to slam this true name nemesis. Next time we can play Thoughtseize, our last hope. Hopefully this doesn't get hit with uh, whatever it is. Um, the dumb card. It doesn't really even loot, right? Oh, I guess you scry. No, but you don't even surveil. Don't do it, opponent. Stone Council's judging me. Sanctum Prelate. Okay. All right. I kind of want to just tick up and pass. Not even attack with this Trinity Nemesis. 
just hold off like whatever my opponent's doing here. So I guess I might as well start attacking them on both lanes because if they if they go play a mom here, then like mom has to attack Liliana to, to do any damage to Liliana, which leaves uh, mom uh, which leaves mom vulnerable to just being picked off by last hope. Did they scrub out? I didn't even see. I didn't see them tweet about it. But yeah, I mean, Casey has the best deck in the format. Okay, port my red source probably. Port my black source. Okay. I guess they're worried about like Marsh casualties. We are kind of hitting them from two fronts here, though this prelate's annoying. This like a stone. If this is a stone forge mystic, we're in, like it's it's kind of annoying. It's more than kind. Or you ban. Um, you ban Ironworks or you ban uh, man, the streams are having some problems. Ban Ironworks or ban Opal. Alright, we're going to let that go. Yeah, stream's been tweaking out the last couple Last half hour or so. This game is kind of turning around on us. I mean, we're currently winning this race, but this this Sanctum Prelate is not good for the home team. We're not winning this race, excuse me. The second TNN is nice. So let's get in here. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't get blown out of here. I'm sure that I can be. Yeah, I mean, the deck's really good. Crusader. So we can brick wall Crusader, or we can start eating other creatures. Team Jess guy beat Team Burn. I mean, it's probably fun. Like, people just enjoy that kind of stuff. My opponent can't, can't really attack, like, because they just get blown out. Nothing with a Sarah Avenger either is odd. I don't know why this didn't attack. All right, again, we're going, we're getting in with one. Gonna go get another red source and play the pyro. So see, I'm worried about like a sword of fire and ice, but. Maybe I should have attacked with both there. I probably could have attacked with both. Yeah, that was stupid because then this attack would then then it'd be lethal next turn. Yeah, I made a mistake. I should have attacked with both. Had this. This can block like here. I take four, six, nine.
I'm just going to block the TNN here. Now I can actually attack with, no, I'm not probably not going to though. Cause they just eat here. Three, six. This is seven. If they put four power in play, they can go sword plus equipped, but I can't beat that. So I probably should have only attacked with one. Again, I made another mistake. I should have only, I should have attacked with two last turn, two this turn. I should have only attacked with one that turn. I'll probably keep playing it so I can't lose KC. Dude, I lost the Ironworks yesterday. In the challenge, so that hand that I had that I sh I, I should have kept the zero lander on six, but I didn't. So it's so sad that our viewer thing dropped off. I was up at like a hundred, now down to fifteen. When I started playing Legacy, I've had poor attacks. I should have either attacked two or should have attacked one, two and two, or one one two. But it's not where we're at. I think I want forces on the draw, but days is also pretty good. I think I can cut these Gurmag anglers. Like I don't think these are going to do anything. I want a couple forces on the draw. Um, yeah. We'll submit this. I could cut an EE. But Scion is just a win through every piece of paint card. Yeah, but like Psy on its own isn't isn't the thing that gets it. It's oh wow. It's Psy plus everything else. You know? Is this card good? And we have the Pyromancer to, to go with it. <clears throat> the deck is just good and the deck keeps evolving which is the scary part like the 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 spine of Ishlana the spine of Ishlana whatever loop is great the deck's just so solid in my opinion I don't think I'm going to jam my Pyromancer I'm definitely not going to jam Pyromancer on one night I'm about to get wasted. So we're just going to ponder. We have so much stuff to ponder now. I think we're going to go like this. We're going to go. We don't want the Delver, but we want the other two cards. I'm going to fetch next turn and play Young Pyromancer. Or I might not. I might just wait and play Pyromancer when I can get tokens off of it. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait on the Pyromancer. I don't want to give my opponent the chance to use their mana. And I would like to be able to find like a Shatter effect for a Batter Skull. Like that. Uh, all those cards are so good. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wait. Yeah, that was quite the ponder. I could have pondered again, but I think I want to wait. Like next turn, we're going to land Nemesis. And then we're going to play Pyromancer and Cantrip a bunch of times. Because my last card underneath this is a land. T. T N N. T N N. T N N.
Okay, here comes. All right, oh, block that. I don't know. I don't know if they've got like how much they have going on there, Freed. Like, you know, like how many cards can they actually play? You know. I guess it's just better for me to do that. You're right. I guess I could abraid. I really want to abraid a sword. I'm really afraid of sword. Which means I should. I, I like messed up. Yeah, I feel like the only way I lose this game is the sword. But I fucked up. But right, like like blue red sword kills me because that they get they get two triggers with this and I can't do anything about it. I messed up. I shouldn't have done that. Because I feel like the best way that they have to win is blue red sword. Turn off all the guilds. So what does this do? Okay, so they're going to draw a card. So how we're going to beat this, I'm going to braid this, Lily on this, and then I'm going to become the Monarch. I think as being the monarch, I think we can beat the sword. At least I don't. If I leave them to be the monarch, we're gonna have more issues than just the sword. What are they pump fake mana for? They were trying to path it. Bang. Yeah, I decided to give this thing a whirl. Today I, I played I played two Grixis leagues beforehand. Now I get to become the monarch. Do we get to draw a card too? No, I draw a card at the end of the turn. I'm gonna leave this bolt up. You feeling better, Tannen? I saw your tweets about how you didn't quite didn't make it to the SCG. Or made it then turned around, which sucks. You got it. We're gonna win this game even though we punted. Alright, let's we're attacking with true name nemesis. I'm glad you're feeling better. That sucks. I don't really know how to sequence these. Like, am I supposed to play Ponder before Preordain? Well, I don't really care about anything anymore. Wow, those are all so good. Dude, this card's unreasonable. Watch me get blown out here. Like, there's a reason that I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to keep my Wasteland. Because I don't want them to Wasteland my Wasteland. Like, they might get, a, like, a, a relevant, like, card. Oh, I need to draw another card, too. I want the DDS lead. I went two, three, four, one. So they were they were good. They were good. I'm gonna have them up on YouTube. I think I'm gonna space them out. Like I'm gonna put like one of my leagues up tomorrow morning, one Tuesday morning, and then this.
Grixis one on Wednesday morning. I got there on site. Uh, uh, site when the event started, then flew home. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, it's good that you were like, you know, you were like there for the people. It's like, dude, I really don't want to miss this event for you guys. Like, because it's, it's a team event, you know? I, literally, I don't even want to cast any of my cards because, like, I don't know what I need. Like, I guess I have two Force of Wills in my deck that I want. Okay, so let's go find Force of Will. But I think that's it. I'll give myself the most cards to see Force of Will. All right, let's get rid of... Excess lands. I'm sure there's some like maniacal D and T card that could just get me here that I just don't know a lot. Of, I don't know anything about. I could have played the Pyromancer. Okay. Well, now I feel dumb. What I hit? Fourth bolt. All right. Does Cataclysm kill me? Like, I don't even know what Cataclysm. I know it's a weird card. Each player chooses from the permanent they control artifact creature and enchantment and a land and sacrifice the rest. Alright, whatever, we still beat that. I feel like it's really overzealous to bring in to have the monarch card in your deck against a deck with young pyromancer and true man nemesis. Isn't that just a really good way to lose it? The old banner skull. Oh, I could have dazed that shit. I was literally thinking that I just... This daze didn't have any more text. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to start off with a Diabolic Edict. I, I, don't, I guess we have two cards to kill them. All right, sweet. Two and zero. I do like playing Legacy. It's kind of the way, like I do like playing these blue decks because I, I think I do pretty well with Xerox decks. I'm gonna go check out my dog. I'll be right back. Yes, but they are trying to minimize their X1, and if they main, maintain it against Gurmag, it's good. I'm confused. What are you talking about, Tim? Yeah, my YouTube links are linked below in my, uh, or in the bio below. Yeah, I do well in modern with, like, the heavy cantrip decks. Oh, that's why they keep Jailer in? Okay. All right. All right. But I only have one Liliana. Like, I don't know. I guess I could play Marsh Casualties too. All right. I buy it. I buy it. I thought this is just a blue-red main deck with, like, a bunch of nut black sideboard cards. But that's how it used to. I guess it, I guess they played Cabal Therapy, but I don't know if they played Cabal Therapy in their main deck or not. <clears throat> 
they actually bring it in. Blech. I mean, I, I was already ahead. Like, when my opponent played the Jailer, I had a True Name Nemesis and a Liliana. So you can say, like, maybe I was already ahead and I needed it, but I feel like the, the Palace Jailer sealed the game for me. Maybe I shouldn't have kept this. Okay. Dude, I love this lore when Thoughtsies art so much. I kind of want to hold up Spell Pierce to Spell Pierce and then go Fork Bolt uh, Delver of Secrets. I don't know. I don't really know a lot about this Elves deck. Current Forest. Okay. Okay, that's Fork Bolt. It's going to be nice. I think that my opponent can pay for this. But they might not be able to do it in. Right? Because this is tap two untapped elves you control. Make a mana. And then they're out of mana. They might be able to generate one off of this query ranger, though. Okay, here, just it down. Okay, so now I'm gonna go get these two. So they return the forest, pick up this, just let it go. Now I kind of want to waste them. Yeah, I'm going to wasteland them. <clears throat> yeah, we are kind of doing it. Now I think I just go thought sees. All right, I don't have anything going on. Delverino, and I think I'm gonna flip my Delver. I really want to flip my Delver in my upkeep, and then play Gurmy. Play Big Nasty. You know, Gurmy is not gonna be that great, but at least it's like something to do. Like it's big. Like Gurdad's thick. Gross. I go like this. Reveal. Draw ponder. Attack. I don't want my fetch land underneath. So let's see. They're gonna be they're gonna have a bunch of mana. So what am I looking for? I guess I should have because I, I might be able to use a bolt here. I don't know. I think I, I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. I don't think any of these are what we need. Though the true name nemesis might have been good. Yeah, I should have kept the TNN. I'm stupid. Dude, playing this, playing it, this stuff is hard. Because the Trinity Nemesis would just be like more unblockable damage. Oh no, they rip a natural order. I should have just played Wasteland, wasted one of these. Oh, what a tilt. So if I just take 10, next turn they trade here, block here, I take, okay, so we're just going to take 10. Don't need this. Don't need Gurmag Angler.
Oh, but I didn't. Now I can't. Oh, man. Oh, this is so hard. Block here, block here, block here, waste this. And I have a Gurmagar on top, I think. And then the last, I don't want the last card. But I'm not really sure I want to fetch either. Because the last, the card underneath is, I don't remember. All right, we're going one. I don't remember the last card, so. We're just going to fetch. Magic's hard. All right, there's a lethal land or else. I definitely tossed that, I think. I think I could have played that a lot better. I should have kept the true name nemesis that I that I bottomed, I think. Okay, so against elves, this is good. This has got to be good. I'm sure the edict's not very good. Oh, we don't need this. I can, I can, maybe Days isn't great. Probably Gurmag Angler isn't actually that great because they just like, yeah. <clears throat> no, actually, let's get rid of this. Let's play, let's get a Snapcaster Mage. More removal. They're not going to mess with their mana, so we're going to get there easy enough. All right. I think I have to mulligan this. We don't have a cantrip or any other way to find. Like, we have a lot of interaction, though. We have, like, 12 cantrips in our deck. I'm going to keep. Though if someone told me that I was supposed to mulligan this, I would understand. Maybe I should take a picture of it. <clears throat> All right. Probably get rid of this. And this. Because we have a waste the cradle is good, but. Yeah. I don't think I'm playing very well. Probably because I don't know. I always get like. I'm always like super uncomfortable playing against elves. Because I just don't know really what matters. All right, that Marsh Casualties is probably too good not to take. I think we're going to draw the Preordain next turn, and then I can shuffle. I don't remember the last card. This is another hard part of this deck. Okay. Put on top. Play this. Play this Sledge Land. I'd like to not have to bolt on this turn because 
if I have to bolt Do I bolt this? Probably. That means my Marsh Casualties is turned off. I'm kind of down for I don't want to get Natural Order next turn. And if I had sequenced right with my cantrips, this wouldn't have been a problem. All right, you got it. Flip my Delver. Or draw a true name analysis. No, tilt. No. All right, I need a dude. That'll do. I don't want to run my Delver into a um, into a Dryad Arbor, so I'm gonna wait for it to flip because it, it's my way out. I think we're favored from here because they just don't have the kind of manipulation that we do. I want this Delver to flip. Yes. That's surprisingly live. Because right now, Natural Order does cost four. What day is this? The morph brings us in for two. Oh, this is going to be um, whatever it is. I guess if I let that resolve, it would have been an even clock. But we can just attack with this tuning emesis. Oh, God. Things are getting scary. So, block, we take one, two, three, four, five. We go to 17, we go to 7, then we take 3. They do have to draw a way to untap. All right, we're just going to play this, play another true name emesis. Leave up a black, because if we had Bolt, we would have killed them. This card's messed up. Holy shit. All right, nice. Okay, on the draw, I probably don't want as many dazes. Is Spell Pierce better than Daze on the draw? Probably. Cut two of them. Swap them out. All right, we're going to keep this. We have a lot of counter magic. Pyromancer should be pretty solid. Okay. I really want to force this. I'm not going to, because I want I, I, I want to daze it, but I, I don't want my, I want to play Pyromancer next turn. I have four sets, don't I? This is the, this is the one we have to get rid of. Okay. 
Now, can I tap out? No. Do it next time. Take a little, take some lumps. I'll probably end up brainstorming. Now we're not brainstorming. All right, we can get natural order next turn, but like, such as life. We have to, we have to like win the game. And here's our attempt at winning the game. All right, you got it. So this attacks for a lot, but they don't keep trample, right? Block this. Block this, and then I can take three and go to one, then cast two spells next turn. Right, like this doesn't have trample. Okay. All right, living on the edge. This is when my opponent just goes off here for the unbeatable buddies or whatever. Can I afford to play another one? Go block, block, take. No, I can't. I need to cast another spell. Put both of these on the bottom. Wait till they use this. This is what return an elf you control, untap, return a forest. So if I, after they use this, I can then wasteland this. I think there's a. Uh, I think we're pretty far behind, but maybe there's a chance they got a natural order. We don't do that. No, don't do this. I'm gonna waste this. Might be wrong. They might be able to bounce it, but they could play cradle, <laughs> but they would just do cradle with priority. Okay, that untaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I do. Okay, so I think I actually want to attack, play another Pyromancer, daze it, and pay for it. 
because that'll give me six, three, three plus six, nine blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have to win the game. So so let's go. So make like a brainstorm better. <clears throat> oh man. Now I can just have six. My opponent kills me, my opponent kills me. I chain a bunch of spells. Like I mean, I, mean, I think I might be able to start attacking if I chain a bunch of spells. Thoughtsies, okay. They knew about that. That, must, that probably means they're gonna like. Oh wow, this is wild. I really hope you won't lose this game when he reels and know that he can return his vision at the end of turn. Okay. I don't know how that, how does that matter there? Like you can do it right now. Didn't he just do that? He just returned. Why would somebody have just countered? All right, so now they have more mana. But I don't really think mana was what they were looking for. Okay. And he draws one extra. Okay, okay. I don't play a lot of Legacy, so I might be like a bit of a novice when it comes to this. I would love to draw a blue card here. I feel like with a blue card here, I'm in really good shape. It just takes a turn off your clock, bud. Natural order, no. Five mana, it's like a missile vital force. Returns, he's just drawing, trying to draw cards. Again, I'm just kind of, he's already lost at least two cards, maybe he's new. You got to hard cast the hoof. No. Let's give them all trample or just this one. All right, we did. I feel like we put up a pretty good fight there. Oh, man, that EE. -E. That EE -E would have been good. Just one blow up their entire board. I always feel like I'm just getting raked over the course whenever I play against uh, elves. Like, I just have no idea what's happening. I have to go turn my, plug my phone in. Why is the leaves over, bud? This is going to be my last league of the day. Here, we're going to play these last two matches, and then we're going to call it. All right, I would like to play first. I'm going to keep this hand. Um, it's, it's, we have a brainstorm that can help us fix things. We have interaction. A true nemesis is 
really solid against a lot of the format. My opponent Mulligan, so hopefully we can be a little aggressive with, you know, countering some stuff. Polluted Delta. Heal through this turn. I can just let this go. It's such a weak brainstorm. I could have pierced it, but I don't want them to kill me like through. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want them to get me like combo. Like I think I'm playing against sneak and shell. Maybe like ant. That's not bad. I kind of want to draw both of these. I don't, the preordain's okay. But I'm not going to fight over a cantrip. We're drawing another wasteland, so. I think I'm gonna spell pierce this though. I think this is like I think there's a little bit of weakness here. God, how sick would it be if they force this right now? They're going to. So now I likely go double bolt and a turn. And then I can either slam the TNN or wasteland something next turn. Or I can, um, I'm probably not going to crack my fetch land. I don't really want to play my training nemesis. I think we want that. I think we do want this. Because now we can play the Delver trick. <clears throat> it is not Legacy Shadow. You are you are speaking facts when it comes to that, sir. So now we get to scry. No, we don't want to draw that. So let's get another Valk. I'm very tempted to just play two threats because I can't beat anything anyways. Now if they crack a fetch and our Delver slip, they're dead. No. Don't do it. Great. 
Gross. Yes. Yes. I think I need to find two lightning bolts, sack all five of these. Or do I put these back, sack my five lands if they attack? Because the Annihilator six. Crack, bolt them to seven. Gross. Yeah, I think we have to put these back. If I play this, attack for six, they block. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven permanents. Bolt them, get this back. I don't think I can attack with my Delvers. Bolt. Oh, they're at one more life than they need to be. I don't have any main deck edicts either. Okay. Oh, shoot. I had to shuffle. Now I'm dead. Damn it. Oh, I tossed it. Because I had to shuffle. Yep. I guess I didn't even know that I could hit off the shuffle. I think I was just dead the whole time. At least I think I was. Because I take 15, I can't block next turn, I don't have a draw. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm just dead. We're just dead. Because they're not going to, you know, I guess I could have given them the chance to, to mess it up. But I didn't, I didn't think hard enough there. I think it cost me. Okay, we want these, probably want the Diabolic Edicts. These are slow. Don't need this. Don't need this. Do I cut all my lightning bolts or do I worry about the artisan doom? Probably just cut them all and cut like one of these. All right. Yeah, I tossed that. I should have, I could have played that better, I think. Heater. God. I think I'm going to keep. Scry land. We have a force. I have a thought season. Like I have a good hand if I find a land. Because if I find a land, I want to find another land, and then we're going to be in good shape. Phil. Philly. Land. Ding. All right, let's go get... A watery grave or an overgrown or underground sea, geez. And hope like a son of a gun that slips next turn. If it doesn't flip, I think we're well, I mean, I think we're gonna go thought seize regardless.
Okay. Flip Delver to Daze. Flipping Delver to a Daze would be sweet. <clears throat> Heal through this turn. Flip Delver to Daze. Come on. Shoot. All right. Let's see. Let's thought seize first so we see what they have. <clears throat> so we know what we're looking for. Okay. Double show and tell. So we're going to take one. Put this on the bottom, put this on top so it flips. Oh no, that is not how that works. So they kept a piece of interaction on top of their deck. They put two cards on top, so they kept like spell pierce that I'm that I'm gonna lose. Because they go like Valk, Lotus Petal. Jeez, that worked better than I thought it was going to. Flip. I will reveal a force of will. We're going to get rid of this. Then I'm going to turn my Delver sideways. All right, that worked out good. I could have spell pierced that to make them pop their lotus petal, which puts them a little further behind trying to get all that, but put one card on the bottom, put one card on top. I think I'm going to spell pierce this ponder because they don't know what's coming up next and their hand's just two fatties. No, but then I have to. Oh, no, we're going to let this go. I'm not going to spell pierce this because they just do it. Their hand's just Emrakul Gristlebrand X. I could have forced it. Their hand's so bad that I don't know if I'm supposed to force this or not. They, cho they chose to the shuffle. So that's what we're looking for. Big angles coming to town. All right. Three turn clock. That's bad. They chose to shuffle, so I'm gonna force pretty much. A can I'm gonna force a cantrip, like anything. All right. What if I want Snapcaster Mage? I think I do. I think Young Pyromancer is pretty slow. Let's try this. They might board in like Pyroclasm too. <clears throat> Being a little tired. It'll be good to. I've had fun playing this. It's tough though. <clears throat> I 
All right, we're going to keep. Definitely pitching one of these red blasts. Or pitching one of these brainstorms, excuse me. Probably not really supposed to be playing Drago here, but it is where we are. Oh, I should have. I should have blasted that. Should have blasted it. But I hit the old S6 button. It's a good brainstorm, too. We get to shuffle away. Stifle there would have been sweet. Now I'm going to brainstorm. Wow. How do I just pitch two brainstorms? Like I've got a fluster storm red blast in this ponder, and I can snapcaster mage something eventually. I think I just want a threat at this point. All of a sudden, my blue cards are all gone. Maybe I wasn't supposed to pitch both forces. Give it a second, buddy. When once we're done streaming, we're going. We're going playing. All right, that's a nice pickup. If they go to a brainstorm here, I'm going to blast it. Probably should have played a land. Yeah, I definitely should have played a land. Hard cast, force of will. Get blasted. All right, take this show and tell. My opponent really doesn't have anything going on. But row. There goes your land. We're going to go snap brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. I'm going to look to get rid of some of these lands. It's a little beater that could. Untap. And now I'm going to play both my threats. And I think I want to waste them. Cut them off of Hardcast Force, which I should have done this in the main phase.
We should just grind him out here and be pretty solid. I think I'm going to brainstorm in response to my Delver trigger. Or no, I'm going to brainstorm at the end of their turn. Show them the card that I'm going to pitch the Force of Will. This is 2-4. That's just 8. I don't have to even play the Gurmag anywhere. I can leave up mana. All right. Got it. Let's see if we can get the 4-1. I really appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. Uh, remember that my name is my name is Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Carnivore Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. I appreciate that. If you want to support me more, head over to my YouTube page and subscribe. I'm trying to get monetized on YouTube, and any every subscription helps. Um, those are all linked below. If you're on Twitch, you can link below and it'll lead. If you're on YouTube, it'll link below lead to your Twitch stream. Um, this is. Uh, these cards in this video, they're brought to you by Card Hoarder. They're the best bot chain in the business. They provide a lot of, uh, a lot of value to the community with uh, the streamer network. So you should check that out. And if you want to interact with me about magic, anything, modern, standard, legacy, any of that stuff, check me out on YouTube or on Twitter. And that's linked below on both YouTube and Twitch. Finishing up here. Got a good three leagues in. <clears throat> Be right back. I'm going to grab some water. <clears throat> okay. Last match of the day. So we're going to escape with a 4 1. This hand's okay. I think I'm going to keep it. Like I've got counter magic, a couple ways to interact, a wasteland. <laughs> I need a third land to cast my stuff, but I, I really want to get this after they, after they uh, they mulligan. Pity boy. It's like dad, stop playing magic. I will, Phil. They put a card on the bottom. If they choose to shuffle here, choose to not shuffle the library. I kind of want to waste them. I think I'm going to. I, could, I, like, I don't want to go land Thoughtseize and then get Wastelanded. Ancient Tomb. Okay, so we're playing against Sneaking Show again. Get him with that discard spell. Double show and tell. Okay. Gonna jam. Should pick up a force. No. Okay. All right. Who? I thought that it. They were just doing the, like it didn't directly come back to me. I'm going to pass because I want to spell pierce. I'll brainstorm at the end of their turn. You get a ponder. You get a ponder. They chose to not shuffle, so I'm in I'm in trouble. 
because that's a lot of mana. Okay. I don't want this a braid. And I think that I'll just draw this preordain. I'm going to get a Valk and Ponder. And I guess we can go like this. And we're just going to pass. I'm not going to play Gurmag. I couldn't, I, even though I could have played Gurmag there, I'd rather just hold it Spell Pierce and Force. And then look to rebuild with Pyromancer next turn. Or I can just play Gurmag Angler Pass next turn. Which sounds pretty good to me, actually. They shuffled. We know they have a Gristle Brand, and that's it. Okay. The Spell Pierce is looking worse and worse. Let's put two cards on the bottom. Okay. I think we're just going to uh, ponder looking for a another force. Play my land, unfortunately. There's a daze. You can try to shut their man off. I guess we'll go lightning bolt, wasteland, daze, draw the daze, play angler. Play big angles. We know one of their cards is Gristlebrand. Oh, this is a hard cast force. Oh my god, we're going to get something out of this daze. This is wild. Okay, we're not going to get anything out of this daze, unfortunately. So they have a force. Intuition. Search your library for three cards. Okay, so this is when they just get exactly what they need. Stop that. Stop looking at yourself. Fail. They could be getting like forces or blue cards. I don't know. I feel like they have to know that this isn't going to work very well. All right, you get a sneak attack. Looks like they're going to go for it. All right, days that. All right. Nice. Okay, so we're going to sideboard the same way we did last time. We brought in these, and we brought in... These we took out true names. We took out two of or two young pyromancers and a, and a braid. And then all of these. Maybe it looks like we brought in some more stuff. I think we brought these edicts in because the edict hits Emrakul, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's actually worth it. Or maybe I should just keep in more young pyromancers. This is going to be the last match. Maybe this will be the last game. Well, 
not a lot of uh, we're definitely gonna lead off with the thoughtsies. If we can thoughtsies like a show and tell or a sneak attack, we're gonna be pretty excited about that. We <clears throat> chose to not shuffle. I also could surgical them to mess up their their uh, their top cards. My opponent doesn't do anything. I guess I just take this brainstorm. But my opponent's hand's pretty solid against what I'm doing. Because, like, I don't really have a lot of pressure. We're playing for the 4 1, Tannen. We're up a game playing against Sneak and Show. I brought the Edict in. The Edict seemed like my worst card. Like, I cut, I cut two young Pyromancers because they seem kind of slow, and I brought in two Edicts. I think I'm gonna daze this. Though I could just daze something that's better. I could daze like a three mana spell instead of a cantrip. All right, big angles. I think I'm gonna look for like a Delver. There we go, we found a Delver. Shuffle away two lands. Hope this is enough. At least we know that our opponent's got two fatties in their hand, so. I probably should have shuffled my angler away. Yeah, and then like the third land might do something. Wow, no lands for them? Holy shnikes. All right. Yes, I would like to reveal a force of will. Oh man, that's fun to say. So I could surgical just to play Gurmag Angler. I think I'm down for that. I kind of just want to surgical to get Gurmag because this is eight, eight and eight. It's a two turn clock. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. It's being aggressive for sure. But I've got like two counter spells for next turn. If they, they'll probably show in the Gristle Brand if they can. Like this could be aggressive. And if someone like, if someone that was intelligent told me that this is dumb to do, then I would say, okay. Like I'm, I'm not going to fault someone for saying this is bad. Okay, so my days isn't going to do anything against them. But they don't really have anything going on. Well, the Fluster Storm's bad. They have Fluster Storm and Force of Will. Take a picture of this. They might force this angler. Pitch fluster storm. I kind of just want to force back here. Because if I force back, they don't know anything about the top of their deck. They have triple fatty. They don't have anything going on. I give them so much less draw steps if I do it like this. 
So we're going to knock the top. We're going to hope. You've done it? Okay. So they that's what they drew. And now we're just going to hold that, and that's the check mark. Because we know their hand. Our opponent's hand is literally City Traders, Emrakul, Gristle Wear, and Gristle Wear. I really like playing these Delver decks. And I think I'm like naturally good. I think I think I'm good with like maneuvering cantrips. I think I just I just force this. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, yeah, that's their hand right there. Yep. Nice. Well, it was gas when it had death right shot. So um, I literally just took this list off. I just took it right off of uh, the goldfish thing. Um, I think this card could be one one more of these. I think this card was kind of over the top. Didn't really need it. Um, besides that, yeah, it's still gas. Yeah. Besides that, it was it was just good. Like. I lost to elves, but I always lose to elves because I just, I just, I, I don't, I think I just don't know what's going on in that matchup, and I always get, I feel like I always get worked by better, by just people that know what's going on. So, but yeah, I thought this deck was sweet. Um, yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for me. I'll be back on Wednesday. I hope everyone has a good rest of their day. So we have on YouTube. If you guys uh like to see, hit the follow and button and subscribe over YouTube. So see all of you guys next time.